Hey neighbors, thanks for tuning in for another lawn video. This one's gonna be a quick video talking about some of my favorite granular products. Those are ones that go in spreaders as a solid product. And these are some of my favorite products. Why I like them, why you might wanna try them, and why some of them you're gonna need. And we're gonna give the lawn a quick mode. I just wanna say that I really appreciate y'all watching my videos, subscribing to my videos, hit that subscribe, hit that like button, button turn on notifications it makes a big difference put a comment down there and uh, let me know what you think the whole reason why i'm making these videos is not because i'm some college ed educated expert that far from that i'm just a diy do-it-yourselfer out here in the lawn learning as i go and trying things out and sharing them with you so you can enjoy the mo so once again i really appreciate y'all watching my videos and stay tuned put some comments down below if you have any ideas for videos that you would like to see and i'll check them out Appreciate y'all. Hey neighbors, today we're gonna look at some of my favorite products to put down on my lawn. Some are online only, some you can pick up at your local Home Depot. We got organic down here, disease control, and we got iron products. These are some of my favorite granular products. That means they're solid, they go in a spreader and they get spread out. I do use a lot of liquid products as well, but we'll just talk about the granular products right now. So again, this is my online, one of my favorite online purchases from Yard Mastery for a good nitrogen. This is my favorite Vigoro from Home Depot that you can get. I get that every year and I always apply it down. My Lorganite, you can get at a bunch of different places. And it's my favorite organic ironite. Is my favorite granular iron application. It's gonna give you that dark green grass. And then the ZZX, uh, you can use the ZZX or BioAdvance. To me, they're both uh, pretty similar in how quickly they act and how they act. So either one of those are great, but you gotta have your disease control out or you're gonna have dollar spots and your grass is gonna look bad, I promise. So this is some of my favorite products. I just want to show you all real quick and um, give you a few ideas of how to check out some good products. So check these out and get them, put them in your yard. All right, let's talk about these numbers on the bag. This bag says 2904. What in the heck does that even mean? All right, so these are percentages of what's in this bag. So the first number is your nitrogen. So this bag has 29% nitrogen 29% of this bag is pure nitrogen and in this bag it happens to be a, a slow release mixed with a fast release nitrogen that's what I like about this product the next number is phosphorus so think of nitrogen nitrogen is for your quick green up and your in your growth to get your grass growing that's why after you put down nitrogen you'll see a lot of top growth in your in your lawn you'll have to mow a lot more often so the next number is phosphorus. This bag has 0% phosphorus. So there's no phosphorus in this bag. So what is phosphorus? So, so, so just to keep it simple, think about phosphorus for your root growth. It's gonna be great for your roots, all right? And then the last number is potassium. This bag has 4% potassium. And for potassium, I want you to think about your overall health of your plant or grass. It's just, it's just like a, it's gonna help uh, keep disease at bay and things like that because your, your grass is gonna be overall more healthy because of that potassium. We're not gonna go into big detail on these, but when you first start out, your most important number is that first number, that nitrogen number. If you get it too high, you can burn your lawn if you don't water it in. So you wanna be careful with nitrogen and make sure you water it in. Nitrogen is gonna be your most important number when you start out. You're gonna be looking for that good medium to high nitrogen number. And you're gonna to wanna to put that out every six to eight weeks I put it out every six weeks and then I supplement with a organic in between the, the time that I'm applying high nitrogen so it's very important keep these things going throughout your year even write them on your calendar every six to eight weeks that you're gonna apply this and then in the middle of each time actually they recommend on the holidays so stick to the holidays so on the holidays throughout the growing season you'll put down malorganite so 4th of July Memorial Day uh, things like that you'll put down the malorganite and then when you want that dark green up, you can put this down. You can put this ironite down every four weeks if you want to. 
I usually don't put it down every four weeks, but you can. And then the ZZX, put that down at the beginning of the season. And then, I mean, honestly, you can put it down once a month just to keep that disease off there. But definitely, if you see any signs of disease, put that ZZX down. Don't wait for it to get out of control. So if you're looking for something to grab real quick, that's gonna green your lawn up, get the Vigoro from Home Depot, grab it up today. I think this costs around $40 and I can treat my lawn about two and a half to three times with it because it covers 15,000 square feet and my lawn is a little bit less than 5,000. So grab that today if you want a good green up. It says within 72 hours and, and sometimes that's true, but you'll definitely see a nice green up with that. If you want to go online, this is a line created by do-it-yourselfers just like you who wanted to make the best fertilizer for us guys and girls who just do their lawns on their own and this is a great product i love it highly recommend it check them out online yard mastery i'm not sponsored i just use their products and i really love them your malorganite your organic is all natural put it down in your lawn you'll have a little bit of odd smell to explain to your neighbors for a couple days but it's worth it they call that the smell of success grab malorganite give it a try or check out my other video on coop poop Check that out, and that's a good alternative to my Lorganite. It's all natural, but it's actually chicken poop. Again, the Disease X, a must have. You gotta put it on your lawn, put it out at the beginning of the season, and then a couple times throughout the season. And definitely, if you ever see any signs of fungus or disease, that's some yellow spots that start appearing in your yard and they spread. And Ironite is awesome. Get a dark green grass very quickly, almost guaranteed. Uh, I have another video on it called Guaranteed Greener Lawns. If your pH levels are not right in your lawn, you may not have a good impact from this ironite. So if you hadn't done a soil test, check out my other video on soil testing. Other than that, put down your ironite. So normally I don't like to mow when it's wet. It just makes it a little bit more messy, but we got some rain coming up and there might be rain for the next few days. So I wanna go ahead and get this mow out. So y'all can join me for this quick mow. If you're wondering what all these little white specks are on my yard, that is from that stupid crepe myrtle that just blows the blossoms all over the yard all the time. So, here's what it is. Look, people always talk about how level my lawn is, and if their lawn was that level, they'd get a real mower too. My lawn, honestly, is not that level. The real mower actually helped prevent scalping that I was getting out of my big mower or my rotary mower because it's so big and square. If one tire goes down into a little divot, it's gonna scalp the lawn because it's spinning that big old blade. With the real mower being so compact and a roller across the front, if you get a little divot, it keeps everything flat and even, and you're not gonna hit those divots that are two foot, three foot apart from each other. I always like to go ahead and give a double cut. That's where I cut one direction and then I cut the opposite direction. That's just one, make sure it's nice and smooth and a clean cut and it looks really good too. Let's go and get that second cut going. Let's see what the first mode looks like. And as always, remember stripes are dependent upon the sun and the direction that the sun's coming in. So right now it's in the morning time, so my stripes are more visible from where you're at. And in the afternoon, they're more visible from the other side. And that's just all to do with where the sun's at in the sky and the direction of the blade. So the blade's laid down this way, it's reflecting sun that way. If it's laid down this way, it's reflecting sun the opposite way. 
So hopefully that makes sense for stripes. It's not a height thing, it's a sunlight thing. Telling you, it might be on 11:30 in the morning, 12 o'clock now, but it is hot in Georgia. The humidity is out of this world. It's just hot. I don't know if you can see this in the video or not, but this is why I can't stand the crepe myrtle because of that right there. Those balloons are constantly falling onto the grass. It makes it look like there's light snow all the time. I just can't stand it. But some people love them. If you love them, I'm sorry. But I just don't like all the stuff all over the lawn. Hey, look, y'all. If you're working out in the yard in the heat, stay hydrated. I got my Gatorade Zero, Zero Sugar. Drink your water, drink your Gatorade, stay hydrated, take breaks. All right, so let's take a look at the front yard now that we've got a cut. So we got the front yard mowed. We mowed it one direction here and then the cross direction that way. That way we get it looking as good as we can and we make sure we didn't miss any, any uh, grass. You cut it this way, then you cut it the other way. You're gonna cross cut and make sure you don't miss any areas. And it makes your lawn look really good. So look, if you don't have a real mower, that's okay. I cut with a rotary mower. I cut with a rotary mower for a majority of my grass time over 12, 13 years. But the real mower is a game changer. But if you don't have one, you can still have a great cut lawn. It may not stripe as well. You might just get some lines in your yard, but that's okay. Make your lawn nice and thick and cut at the height that works for you, your grass, and your equipment. If you got a rotary mower and every time you cut, you're leaving those half moons in your yard or you're yellowing out your yard, don't cut it that low. Raise it up a little bit. Back when I had a rotary mower, I used to have to raise my deck up throughout the year so that I quit yellowing the grass. And that's okay. It was really thick and really green. And it was Bermuda at two and a half, even three inches sometimes, but it's whatever keeps it green. If every week you get out there and your grass is green and you cut it and you turn it yellow, you're cutting too much off. Don't do that. Either A, cut more often, or B, raise the height of your cut up. Quit cutting it down to yellow every single week. You're damaging your lawn you're putting it in recovery mode where it's constantly having to use a lot of nutrients to get back green and get back growing. But if you just cut a third of that blade off, keep it green, it'll be a lot less repair, all right? So once again, I really appreciate y'all tuning in. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like, turn on notifications, and put a comment down below of any video that you'd like to see or what your thoughts are on the current video. See y'all next week.